Thanks for joining us tonight. We are learning more about the arrest of a retired priest with connections to Madison. Police in Fort Atkinson arrested William Nolan earlier this week in connection with a child sexual assault investigation. We do have team coverage on this story tonight. Rose Schmidt reporting from Fort Atkinson where Nolan was a priest for several years and Amanda Quintana talking today with the pastor at Our Lady of Queen of Peace in Madison where Nolan worked for about the last four years. We're going to start with Rose. She was in the courtroom when Nolan made his initial appearance today. Rose? That's right. Well, the victim told police that Father Bill Nolan sexually assaulted him more than a hundred times, sometimes inside this very church here in Fort Atkinson. St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Fort Atkinson was the place where Father William Nolan served between 2002 and 2007. The job of a, a priest is to you know, be uh, a trusted mentor in our communities. A 25-year-old man came forward saying that priest sexually assaulted him for years when he was an altar boy, starting when he was just 13, leading to Nolan's arrest. We have no prior contact history um, except for him being a, a priest, a father in our community and those just common interactions that might occur between the church and the police department. Police Chief Adrian Bump says the investigation took about a month and it's unknown at this time if there are other victims. We don't have any reason to know that there are, um, but we're open. If there are, I mean, I definitely encourage them to come forward. And William Nolan. Nolan appeared via teleconference in Jefferson County Court Wednesday. Court documents show the victim told police the sexual assaults happened weekly when he was in middle school, at least 100 times over the course of four to five years. Each charge is that you did have sexual intercourse with a child under the age of 16. The victim said the assaults happened in Nolan's office, in the Fort Atkinson Church, the altar boy room, and other places throughout the community. Police say they don't know just how many kids he interacted with in Fort Atkinson, but likely a lot. Grades, you know, kindergarten through eighth grade, every single school year. Uh, you also have uh, CCD classes that meet once a week on Wednesdays, which bring kids in from the public schools. Nolan faces six felony charges, but police say more could be filed as the investigation unfolds. If you or someone you know has had inappropriate contact with Father Nolan, you are asked to call Fort Atkinson Police Department. Now, after his retirement from this area here, Nolan continued to serve in other communities, including Madison. Amanda Quintana continues our team coverage. Amanda? That's right, Rose. Although Father Nolan is retired, he has been leading Mass here in Madison at Our Lady Queen of Peace Parish for the last four years, while also living in a rectory across the street from the kindergarten through eighth grade school. The pastor told me he's doing a lot of damage control and praying for justice. Let's just say that we're all in shock, number one. This came out of the clear blue for all of us, and we have people in tears in this parish. Our Lady Queen of Peace pastor Ken Fiedler says there was no indication Father William Nolan had any allegations of misconduct in his past, especially not sexual abuse of a minor multiple times. Absolutely not, because he wouldn't be here then. Zero tolerance for any abuse issues for anybody. Fiedler says four years ago he asked Nolan to move into a rectory across the street from the parish to help lead daily mass and celebrations, along with another retired priest. Their primary responsibility is to help with sacramental, like daily mass. Mass, weekend masses, uh, first communions, baptisms, reconciliation, and that's what I've asked them to do. Although Nolan was not required to teach in the school, he was invited to occasionally sit in on classes. The Diocese of Madison, saying while serving at parishes in Cambridge, Janesville, Watertown, and Madison, they did not hear of any allegations until his arrest. In a statement today, saying Nolan has been placed on administrative leave as required by the essential norms in force of the Diocese of the USA. This includes total exclusion from any exercise of priestly duties while the matter is pending. The diocese also began its own sexual abuse investigation. These are serious charges that Father Nolan faces. Pastor Fiedler sending a letter to parents, although he says he doesn't want to believe those allegations are true. First and foremost, we're innocent until proven guilty, so let's not uh, condemn the person at the moment. Um, but at the same time, I think we got to be forgiving and merciful, but we want justice. Pastor Fiedler tells me this is a topic he will touch on in mass and with parish members as they pray for everyone affected. The Story News Street will, of course, continue to follow. Amanda Quintana reporting in studio. Thank you.